Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and in today's video I'm working on a Monster High Katrine Demu doll and making her into sort of a tattered fairy version of the White Rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. And I debated on whether or not I would show this video because my camera conked out on me and I didn't realize it, so I didn't capture the entire face up. But after watching it over, I did get some good detail, uh, some of a, a good detail of the face up as well as uh, the view of the costume at the end. And then I also filmed how I made the ears, the, um, the removable ears, so that's some good footage there as well. So I hope you do enjoy it. So I prepped the doll by removing the factory paint with the pure acetone and of course removed the hair. And then I'm going to just cut off the ears with an X-Acto knife or just one of these package, these are a knife that I usually use to open packages. <laughs> a craft knife I guess is what it's called. So I removed the ears and then I decided that I wanted to make the ears removable partly because the packaging that I mail these off in wasn't tall enough to send the doll with the ears attached at the top. And also just you know, some people like a different look. So I wanted to give the option of removing the ears and also moving the ears around a little bit to give it a little bit of character. So I was excited to try this. So what I did was sort of take this jewelry wire and measure it to the size that I wanted the ears to be. And then I used the epoxy sculpt and uh, mixed ev equal parts of each and started applying it to the wires after I decided the shape that I wanted them. The wire is just a base for the epoxy sculpt and mainly to prevent it from breaking and just to you know have a, a more solid core and also just to give me the shape to follow. So like I said I mix equal parts of each of the epoxy sculpt and mix it together and then sort of roll it out and start applying it to the wire. I don't do a whole lot of sculpting and body mods so this was a little bit this, it, it's always a little difficult for me to sculpt. It always has been when in my art career and education, sculpting was one of my least favorite things to do. But ears were pretty simple, I guess. So I debated on whether or not I would add some fur to these and after I was done with them, I decided to just uh, spray them with some sealant and then paint them with some uh, white craft paint and then I did some and then I gave it a few coats of Mr. Super Clear so I could do some detail work on them with watercolor pencil and then of course sealed them again with Mr. Super Clear. So here I've got the ears sculpted kind of the way that I wanted them. I did end up going back and carving them a little bit after they dried and sanding them down a little bit to shape them a little bit differently. But then I grabbed my mini magnets and I pushed them into the clay where they would attach to the scalp. And then once the clay was dry, then I glued them into that. I did the same process for the top of the head to make the add the magnets to that as well. And then I rooted her with some soft alpaca yarn that I had treated uh, by thinning and brushing. And then gave her my classic tattered fairy side, messy side bun. So for the face up, I started out with four coats of Mr. Super Clear. And then usually with uh, dolls I, I work on, the face up I'll give them the or I'll shape the eye with white but being that this is white vinyl I relied on the shape or, or shaping the eyes with the black on the upper lid and then I use like a terracotta and brown combination for the waterline and tear duct if you're a supporter over on patreon I do have a video of close-up step-by-step how I do the waterline and the tear duct uh, closer while I talk through it 
And while I'm at it, I'll just say thank you very much for my patrons for making these videos possible. You guys are just great and I'm having so much fun building that community. If you're interested in checking out what I have to offer on Patreon, the link is in the description bo box below. And I have my Patreon set up in a tiers that will uh, like reward tiers set up geared towards those who want to learn how to do face-ups and, and get tips and tricks and things like that. And I work very hard to make my, uh, the, my Patreon be valuable to those who are supporting it. So thank you guys very much. So this was really difficult to do this character. I used reference photos of rabbits to try to co combine a pretty girl face with a rabbit face to make it kind of cute but also kind of kooky and I really love how it turned out and I took a lot of photos with it and I just can't seem to take a photo of this doll to show what it looks like and it was really rewarding to me to show this doll at a convention because I, I was able to bring her to my last convention and the reaction was just wonderful. I was really thrilled with the, the reception that she received everyone really liked the work and um, commented on her a lot and that made me feel good to show it in person because a lot of my uh, my one of my least favorite things to do with this process is take photos it's always very challenging to me to bring to life in photo of what I I've worked on so I'm glad I was able to get some footage of this the character at the end of the video you'll see that I uh, filmed a little bit of it to make it a little bit easier to see what I did. And again, I'm sorry that I didn't capture the entire face up, but hopefully this gives you an idea of what I did. Here I'm blending out the blush on the cheeks because um, it was really heavy, so I blended it out with some colorless blender. So you can see that blends it out and lightens it a good bit. Oh, I guess I just went back and erased some of it too. It was just too... It's too difficult to um, add blush on uh, white if you're not very careful and I wasn't as careful as I wanted to be there. So the eraser I'm using is a Faber-Castell. It's a sharpenable eraser. The supplies that I use are in the description box below along with affiliate links. So there I went in with, a, with the blush a little bit lighter and blended it out. It's still a little bit tough, but I just need to do a lot of blending. And that is it for the face up. I'm so sorry that I didn't capture the entire face up, but here I'm showing some more detail on the costume. If you've seen my previous Tattered Fairy costume or Tattered Fairy videos, you'll know that I love this particular style and I just love different patterns and textures and little bits and bobs that I put together in these skirts and I, it's very difficult to show on camera or um, video the detail that I put into them but it is so fun and I can just get lost in them with all these little laces and buttons and gadgets and things it's just so fun and I want to make it fun to look at for the person who purchases the doll by the way this doll is still available at the time that I'm recording this video my link to my Etsy shop is in the description box below and at the by the time this video goes out there will be another big sale in my Etsy shop so stay tuned for that or check it out to see what I have to offer because I'm going to put a lot of the dolls on clearance So there I just have some eyelets and little pins and buttons and laces and pieces of different kinds of textiles and I just put that all together in her skirt and I made her this fabulous vest which is one of my favorite things and uh, gave her a monocle which was so fun to do. I rooted her whiskers and she has a little clock and I gave her some striped tights and some old-fashioned kind of shoes that I painted. I made the vest first and then I decided to go ahead and give her a coat to jacket to go over top of it and mixed up some textiles in um, different fabrics for the sleeves and then I made that bow collar. 
so and just looking at this video I just I love how she turned out and I'm so glad that I'm able to show you guys in video how she looks anyway I hope you enjoyed this video what there was of it and again I'm sorry that I didn't capture the entire face up I hope that's okay but I do have some more videos coming out soon and I hope you guys are having a wonderful week thank you so much for watching have a great day talk to you soon bye